Hello, my name is Jason, and here is a computer tip that will be very useful for you if you're a client of mine and wishing for me to do some remote support on your computer. There's a program called Log Me In, which uh, once installed on your computer allows me permissions once you uh, click on it to then con connect to your computer and move your mouse and see what's on your screen. So in that way, we can do a quick service run as opposed to wait for me to schedule out to arrive at your home to do an on-site appointment. So the first thing that you want to do is go off to the internet and actually download this, this small utility that will be installed on this computer, on your computer. And this is what we'll step through uh, really quick today. So the first step to do is to jump on the internet, go ahead and hit the start menu. And then what I like to do is hit run and then just go to, I'll just delete this, you want to type in www my website name and as you can see I've, I've already got it auto filled what you want to eventually type out is www.onsite1.com forward slash files and what you want to do is insert another forward slash and then type in the words log me in dot exe there we go onsite1.com files log me in dot exe and then just go ahead and hit the OK button and what you'll get is Internet Explorer initially coming up but since this is a direct link it'll initiate a download prompt what you want to do is hit um, the easiest way to go about it is just to hit run and then just allow it to run what it'll do is temporarily download the file to your computer but then it'll immediately run the file which is the installation utility for the LogMeIn software so it looks like we've got another 10 seconds here. And this is the advantage of a good high-speed internet connection. If you're on a dial-up, I can still do remote support for you, but uh, cases like these where you're downloading a piece of software may take up to 10 to 20 times longer uh, to download. Now at this point, it downloaded, and we've got another prompt whether we want to run the file. We'll go ahead and run it. and And... I currently have a protection software installed that guards against any type of remote software that might be installed on this computer. And this is just the Windows Defender software that's doing this for me. And it's just recognizing that I may be installing a remote control software. And it gives me the option to, to not install it. But in this case, of course, we want to install it. So we're going to ignore the warning. You may have similar situations if you have a Norton Internet Security or McAfee Security that might warn whether or not to proceed through the LogMeIn installation, and so you want to proceed through it. Now, this is the main LogMeIn installation screen, the initial screen where you just want to hit Next. This is the licensing agreement. We just hit Agree. At this point, you just want to choose the default uh, typical uh, installation method, which is the software options. Just hit Next. And then the computer description, what you want to do is just put in your first and last name, which will make it the easiest for us to identify um, you on the internet as far as connecting. So my name here is Jason Lim and this is my laptop. So if you would in parentheses type in if, if this is a laptop or desktop computer. So this is under description, computer description, and hit next. And then computer access code. This is a code that I will email you and you will not see it as I type it up on the screen, but you will have this via an email for you ready for you to punch in, so you'll know what to punch in. Okay, and it just asks for a confirmation, so you type it in twice. Next, and then at this point it prompts for uh, a type, a product type, which in this case is the Log Me In free version. The other two items are more advanced versions of the software that requires a service agreement and uh, payment which is not required. Now, at this point, this ties into my account. You, you need to type in my email address which is pangong at hotmail.com and there's an L right here. There we go. And then the password will also be emailed to you. So just for security pur purposes, we're not showing it onto the video here. Okay. What you then do is hit next, and then we'll proceed for the rest of the installation. Now at the tail end, in about 
10-20 seconds, your screen will flicker on and off for a moment, and that's normal. Um, it's just the software detecting your, your screen resolution and how your video is set so that it's optimal for when I connect so that I can see what's on your screen. There we go. There it goes. There's the screen blinking on and off. And there we go. And upon successful completion uh, setup, you'll see a setup completed. You'll see a finish button. And you'll see a little bubble that comes up off in the corner that says log me in enabled and online. And what you want to do is hit OK. And a further confirmation that you do have it installed correctly is that you'll have an icon. This is the log me in icon. It looks like a gray square with a couple blue dots on it. And that signifies that it is working. So when you want me to come in and connect to your computer, uh, what you need to do before I can connect is to right click on this icon, left click on open log me in, it'll bring up an Internet Explorer page, and then I'll say that we're now connected to Jason Lim laptop. So as long as you're getting this screen, this will then allow me, you, you then naturally give me a call, like on my cell number or my toll-free number, and say, hey, Jason, you know, I'm all set up, I'm connected, uh, go ahead and try to connect to my computer. And then that's how we'll do it. And then after a few moments, you'll see me wiggling your mouse and seeing what's on your screen and troubleshooting what I need to do. And hope that's helpful. And that concludes our quick step through on getting the log me in remote software, remote software installed on, on a uh, computer. And uh, I'm hoping that was helpful for you. And just feel free again to give me a call on my cell or my toll-free number, which is on my website if you have any problems. It's uh, www.onsite1.com. And just let me know. I'll be happy to help. See you on the next computer tip.